Welcome to the Citra Intersection tutorial series. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the Network Data Input dialog to enter general parameters for network analysis in Citra Intersection. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. Now let's begin. For this video, we will use a network that has already been configured. In the Network Input section of the Project pane, click Network Data to open the input dialog. This dialog contains two tabs, the Network Data tab and the Properties tab. The Network Data tab includes parameters covering General Network Data, Network Parameters that override Site Data, and Network Analysis Settings. In the Network Data tab, you can specify a network name, a network ID, a network category, and enter a multi-line network title. These identify the network in the project pane, other input dialogs, and in output reports and displays. Network Level of Service method provides three options based on speed efficiency. The Network Level of Service target parameter is useful for assessing the level of service results. Desired speed is used in the calculation of speed efficiency, travel time index, congestion coefficient, and network level of service. The program option for desired speed uses a flow-weighted average of approach cruise speed values of all movements in the network. The lower limit of speed efficiency is a parameter used in the calculation of the travel time index. The Apply Platoon Dispersion checkbox allows the user to control the modeling of signal platoons for signal coordination effects. A group of parameters given in the Network Data dialog override the corresponding Site parameters specified under the Site tab. When these Site parameters are changed in the Site Input dialogs, it will not be necessary to process the network, with some exceptions. Peak Flow Period parameter, specified here, overrides the Peak Flow Period parameter given in the Volumes dialog of individual sites for uniform use in network performance calculations. However, the peak flow period values specified for sites are used in site demand flow calculations. The site level of service method, performance measure, and percentile Q parameters given in the network data dialog apply to all sites in the network. Hours per year parameter is used to convert values of performance statistics to annual values, which are given in the Network Summary, Route Summary, and Project Summary reports. Cost Unit is included for the program to identify potential inconsistencies in the cost parameter settings of the sites included in the network. This checkbox controls whether short lanes are considered when determining the approach queue storage ratio values. These values are included in the network output reports and displays. Network analysis settings are provided for the user to control how well the network analysis results are settled. This is important in relation to the network model variability. There are two analysis settings, the maximum number of iterations allowed in processing the network and percentage stopping condition. Network model iterations will stop when the degree of saturation or Q storage ratio in any lane in the network does not change more than the adjusted percentage stopping condition in the last three iterations or when the number of iterations has reached the specified maximum number of iterations. Adjusted values of the percentage stopping condition are used to allow more tolerant stopping conditions for lower values of degree of saturation and Q storage ratio. Under the Properties tab, you can enter more detailed notes in the Network Information box and inspect the network attributes. 
A separate Network Properties dialog with same contents can also be accessed by right-clicking the network name and selecting the Properties command in the menu. Now let's process the network. The processing time depends on the network size, the existence of lane blockage in the network, and the network analysis settings. After a network is processed successfully, you can access the network output reports and displays in the Network Output and Network Flows groups of the ribbon, and Site Output reports and displays for all sites in the network in the Site Output for Network section of the project pane. This concludes our tutorial on the Network Data Dialog in Sidra Intersection. Thank you for watching.